back with some more Why in the Morning for you. Special thanks to Hilda Wathifi and uh, Joy Muchachi for that amazing segment. Uh, they like to start our Wednesdays on a laughing note. So if you happen to interact with a, a video that you think might go viral or break the views, just send it to us on Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook so we can share it with the people. Let's laugh together. So hashtag is Why in the Morning, hashtag is Queen's Wednesday, and the hashtag for this particular hour is strength of a woman and my strength of a woman of the day is is a comfort student first and uh, she's from the school of law Nairobi Parklands and uh, she's originally Zimbabwean but the things she has already done or the things she's doing with her extra time got her to this particular spot she goes by the name Kosi yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Karibu Sana. If I missed anything, your camera is number four. Just look them straight into the eyes okay. and talk to them. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Okay, should I say my full name? Because I feel yes, like. Yes, your full name. Okay, I think people so are interested in this. I'll say it like slowly. <laughs> so people can get it. My name is Gosi Nosizo. Mkwanansi. Uh -huh. Gosi Nosizo is my first name. Mkwanansi uh -huh. is my surname. All right, so Nkosi no Sizo are two words. Yeah. <laughs> but it's your first name. It's my first name. So uh, it's one one name but two words. Not really. Uh -huh. Like the meaning is one. It means uh -huh. there's help in God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's help in God. That's there's help in God. Yeah. <laughs> so you're from a religious uh, family. You could say that. Actually, I am. I am. All proudly right. saying <laughs> proudly you are. All right, so the reason we are here today is because of your blogs and uh, your project, Royal Footprints. Yes. Yes, before we get into the blogging and uh, the Royal Footprints project, uh, I'd like to know, you're, you're in the School of Law. Uh, you came all the way from Zimbabwe to the UON. Yeah. All right, to study law. Yeah. We've talked about this before, uh, but for the people who are seeing you for the first time, why this way? Why this bad? Why Ke Okay, so the question is why Kenya, basically. Why Kenya? Why University of Nairobi? To be honest, uh -huh. I did not think I would find myself here. Like I said it in my previous blog, I actually uh -huh. wrote about it. Uh -huh. um, my, initially, my choices were University of Cape Town and uh -huh. University of like Nairobi. Uh -huh. So for at University of Cape Town, I got a place for a Bachelor of Social Sciences. Mm -hmm. And then at UON, I got for law. So I literally had to weigh my options, like mm -hmm. which one will benefit me more or which mm -hmm. one is like more. Because you know, like it's fancy to say I'm a student of the law. I mean, like, <laughs> it's fancy to say I'm a student of so like. You did it first. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, also because you like. You appreciate the fact that you did it for the. Mm -hmm. no, no, that's part, to be honest, that's mm -hmm. the other reason. Yeah. Like, honestly speaking, that's yeah. the other reason. But like, also, I like to stand up for people, and mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot that needs to be. Uh, challenged by the law and I feel like the law has so many gaps mm -hmm. and so many things that it doesn't like target mm -hmm. you see like things like body image and self-esteem uh -huh. see so I feel like the law will like benefit me in that mm -hmm. way and it will like sort of help me advocate for people all right so uh, the law doesn't cover things that affect us directly like self-esteem yeah. and body type and the rest of them. But these things uh, reflect into our day-to-day -day activities that are covered by the law, like employment, say, and discrimination True. in different cases. So you think uh, that sometimes soon uh, people who have been discriminated because of their body type can go to court and sue? Yes, I mean... The future is like that. Actually, like, um, last semester we did, like, a research paper. Mm -hmm. So we're, like, asked to identify our area of passion. Mm -hmm. And my research paper was on uh, body image and self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So I actually had time to research on it. Mm -hmm. And apparently there's something called the body image law, but mm -hmm. it's in Australia and Australia and France. France is still, like, launching it. They're still working on it. Mm -hmm. So basically the body image law is mostly for models, mm -hmm. like, there's something also called the Photoshop law. Apparently, mm -hmm. I also didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's all, it's very good that like first world countries are actually trying to combat. You mm -hmm. see, like these problems, and I feel like it should be like a global thing. It shouldn't mm -hmm. just like stay there. Mm -hmm. So in as much as like there's laws against discrimination, I feel like it should. It's vague. Like mm -hmm. just saying discrimination is vague. I feel mm -hmm. like we should just like launch deeper and like sort of target, uh, target exactly target specific, specific kinds of discrimination exactly. 
I like this. You're so passionate about body types. Uh, <laughs> but I'm sorry to say you're not prone to any form of discrimination when it comes to your body type. Actually, I went through oh, that. I need at, to a do point, my at a point, <laughs> like it actually like drove me to actually do this. Like mm -hmm. at a point in my life, I I never used to like the way I looked, you mm -hmm. know, because I feel like I feel like with stereotypes, there's this ideal body. Woman, yeah, African there's woman. ideal woman. You know, mm -hmm. like women are supposed to look curvy, like the African context, like mm -hmm. curvy and you know, big everything. Mm -hmm. Big everything. Uh, big, big everything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, mm -hmm. In all the right places. Mm -hmm. So, like, I would find myself, if, even like the media, I feel like the media also influences the way we think. Because, mm -hmm. like, you no, know, these music videos, it's always the same girls, you know, the curvy girls, the light skinned girls. Like, I don't think you've watched G Easy's videos, yeah. But. <laughs> but I feel okay. I feel like now mm -hmm. it's only now that people are actually trying to like say melanin popping, mm -hmm. um, African, hashtag African beauty. Mm -hmm. But, like, initially. So there's progress. Yeah, maybe. there's progress but like still they're like stereotypes i feel like you shouldn't limit people because um if like in videos or like not just in videos in magazines like media in general mm -hmm. if the media is always glorifying a certain type mm -hmm. then in that sense it means that everyone else who doesn't look like that is not that beautiful it's mm -hmm. not socially acceptable mm -hmm. and that's what i'm trying to fight i'm Industry trying to standard. yes i'm just trying to say beauty is not measurable mm -hmm. basically like we're all different we can't all look the same mm -hmm. like i even wrote a quote about just imagine coming across like 50 people wearing the exact same outfit as mm -hmm. you like it wasn't good in that same context we and should learn exactly exactly the same, like the same. if i had to meet someone like looking exactly like this i wouldn't like it mm -hmm. so if we don't like people like dressing like us why can't we embrace variety uh -huh. in terms of look and like and that is what the world is all about different communities True. Uh, living together in synchrony to make the world a better place yes wonderful so uh maybe you can share with them the link to your blog so they can stock stock and read <laughs> uh, while we talk about this your camera is number four um the link to my blog gosh mm -hmm quite long it's quite long <laughs> so just tell them your instagram because okay my instagram link. handle is nkosi n-k-o-s-i e mm -hmm. underscore fleur f-l-e-u-r right. and then like in my bio there's the link that goes straight to my blog uh -huh. and then there's the other instagram uh for royal footprints yes yeah, royal footprints i think that one is easier <laughs> <laughs> royal footprints yeah. is just royal dot footprints royal dot footprints yeah all right so we're here now uh how did you find yourself uh, modeling I don't model <laughs> it's in your commercial modeling yeah. okay um commercial modeling is my passion because I just love the camera uh -huh. I weakness. just I just love the camera so I just say let me I actually started trying it out when I came to Kenya like mm -hmm. it's like let me just like just try it out so like I just got a few contacts mm -hmm. and I was called to like multiple auditions mm -hmm. like I haven't made it, but I think I'll make it. Like you're it's, making it's some, <laughs> some bucks. Yeah. Uh, it's taking I, I you haven't through school, like, right? Sort of like gotten an audition, mm -hmm. like gotten a part, but like I'm getting there. I know by the end of this year, I mean, mm -hmm. prophesy. <laughs> all right. Prophesy. So all the best in your modeling career. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about this Royal Footprints uh, project. Mm -hmm. Why the name first? Royal Footprints. Okay, mm -hmm. so being religious, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, the name is derived from First Peter two verse nine. First Peter two verse nine. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, it says you're a chosen generation, a royal yes, priesthood. Yes, I hope you don't ask you. <laughs> you. <laughs> you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Uh -huh. So Royal Footprints to me, like that verse, sort of like made me feel like and know that. Uh, everyone is royal. Mm -hmm. So like footprints just comes from the fact that like you should walk like a king or a queen. You should treat yourself like you're one. Mm -hmm. And like whenever I look back, like even when people look at you, they should see that you've left royal footprints behind. Because mm -hmm. just, just the way you carry yourself and the way you embrace yourself mm -hmm. and the way you love yourself. All right. Yeah. So footprints are, are the things you leave the behind. The things you leave behind. So when you leave royal footprints behind, it means you've impacted people in a very positive way. Yes. You've left some very good energy where you left. Amazing name. Very creative. Uh -huh. Is this what you learned at law school? No. <laughs> no, I didn't learn at the law school. This is something you do on the side. All right. So uh, royal footprints is all about this uh, embracing all 
kinds of body types and uh, the diversity that exists. Not just like body types, mm -hmm. but, but general physical attributes, mm -hmm. be it like skin color uh -huh. or like hair type, like just anything to do with looks, basically. Anything to do with <laughs> anything looks. All right, does it focus on women only or both sexes? It cuts across. Okay, it looks like it's like a feminist movement. I feel I've, I'm always correcting people. It's not a feminist movement. Mm -hmm. It's like for both males and females, but because I feel like women are always the ones being like, um, you know what, what's the word? English. Uh, <laughs> women have always been the one like castigated about the way they look uh -huh. and like everything. It looks like it's for women and also not to sound like sexist or anything, but like men don't usually like open up about their insecurities uh -huh. and everything. It's like it's only women who always speak out and mm -hmm. like come out and try to fight it. Mm -hmm. But men are always like undercover. You uh -huh. never want to speak about your insecurities. Yes, and we have those stereotypes. Like <laughs> yeah. the bigger the men, the exactly. faster the fault. Yeah. No. Yeah, so. Men also have stereotypes, but because they don't speak out, we don't even know them. I mean, uh -huh. we just assume, we don't know. I really, we really can't do anything about it. I remember like initially when we started, because I started Royal Footprints when I was in high school, when mm -hmm. I was in Form 6, mm -hmm. well, Form 6 in Zim. Mm -hmm. um, so we, initially when we started, we were like 20 girls, 20 boys. But then like all the boys just left all of a sudden. I don't know what happened, but mm -hmm. like I just feel like when in their social circles, they were being ridiculed. Like, oh, are you seriously like... <laughs> You're telling people that you're insecure, <laughs> like, are you seriously telling people that you're not comfortable with yourself? Okay. So, like, boys left just like that. So, mm -hmm. like, now it's just girls only. So, it seems like it's uh, it seems like it's for girls only, but, but like, the guys it's for are everyone invited. in general. Yeah, everyone the guys are invited, general. everyone is invited. All right, what is the line between uh, sharing your insecurities and self confidence? Because when some people assume uh, just walking up to a place and being like, oh, I'm good, is self-confidence. Mm -hmm. But other people think it's better if you say, oh, I'm not, I don't like this about me, I don't like this about me. What, what is the line? I feel like self-confidence comes from sharing your insecurities. Because for you to actually, Sorry. yes, uh -huh. for you to actually speak out and tell people that I don't like this about myself, it takes guts. It's mm -hmm. like confidence. I feel like there's so a link. That is the real confidence. That right is there. the real confidence. But then again, there are people who put up facades. There are people who actually pretend to be like, to love themselves and feel mm -hmm. good about themselves. But deep down, they're like self loathing. They're always like thinking, uh -huh. oh, if only I look like Chameli or if only I had. Chameli. Chameli is. <laughs> oh, Chameli is the, <laughs> my, my your, secretary. <laughs> your media person. My media person. Uh -huh. Like, you know. People just, some people, I feel like things like self-confidence, it should start within, before mm -hmm. you want to show everyone, before you want to please society. Mm -hmm. It has to start with you as a person mm -hmm. first. All right. Yeah. Let's talk about, uh, before we talk about social media and how it affects all these things that you're talking about, do you think the world would have been a better place if men shared more? If totally. their files weren't damaged? I think so. <laughs> totally. Totally. Yeah, I think, okay, like, I was looking at the suicide rates. Most of the time, it's males who commit suicide more than females. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's because men don't speak out. They choose to just, like... Keep it inside. Keep it inside mm -hmm. and also damages them in the process. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like there's this, you know, what is masculinity? Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's really ridiculous. It's misunderstood. Yes, yeah, misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just ridiculous and... It's not realistic. Like men are people. Men, not scared. <laughs> share. You are people as well. You have men feelings. Are people. You have emotions. Like, yeah. Share your stories. Share your insecurities. I think you'll feel better after. I'm not so sure <laughs> how they're going to react to this. Yeah, they probably channel won't like it. I mean, white but underscore channel on Instagram and white five four on Facebook. Don't forget to leave the hashtag strength of a woman of the hour. All right, and uh, white in the morning is the other hashtag, and uh, Queen's Wednesday is the main one. So please interact with us. Your views, your comments, and your questions are invited. Social media is, uh, is a tool now. It's the same tool you're using, but it's the same tool that gives pressure to people. Yeah. Uh, these insecurities that you're talking about, this, uh, d this diversity that you're talking about, social media is very, very responsible 
for setting an industry standard for beauty and True. it's still the same tool that you're using to spread your word how is this working for you i mean uh, it's not easy like fire with fire <laughs> fire with fire it's yeah. not easy because this is like a global as i said it's like a global thing mm -hmm. and really it's, it's not easy for someone to just read a quote or just go to royal footprints and see you're beautiful and just like sort of change their mindset mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's not easy, but I think it's something that can be achieved. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, if, like, many people try as much as possible to actually promote self-love, I think even the social media influencers, you see, they are already influencing. Question is, what are they influencing in the mm -hmm. first place? Mm -hmm. If you're influencing, like, bad vibes, you're literally spreading bad vibes mm -hmm. to, like, the whole world. <laughs> so I feel like also social media influencers have a role to play. Mm -hmm. They should, like promote self-love, they shouldn't like have these unrealistic mm -hmm. body standards. You, mm -hmm. you get what I mean? If they also like take part in it, I feel like the world would be a better place. Mm -hmm. But also, it's not just social media. I mean, people always say stuff. You can be walking on the street, especially girls. I mean, girls suffer a lot. You can be walking on the street mm -hmm. and like a guy get calls and you ignore them and say you're ugly anyway, I didn't like you. Right. So things like that, things like words, words are very powerful mm -hmm. by the way. Also small things like that, like you can be thinking you're like trying to revenge, but you can actually affect someone. Anyway, because like anyway. some, some females actually act like they don't care, but like you know when you're now alone with your yeah. own thoughts, you're actually thinking, oh am I that ugly, you know? Yes, it affects you. It affects you. Uh -huh. So like, in as much as social media does play a part, I feel like also the things we say as people, uh -huh. you know, like, you can take it lightly, but you can actually ruin someone's life totally. Right. So social media has no fault. It's the it, people on social, social media. media. Yeah, exactly. It's the people. I mean, social media is good. I mean, mm -hmm. you can use social media for good things, but what you say in social media, what you portray through social media mm -hmm. is what's going to affect other people. All right, let's talk about uh, health now, because it's directly related to what you're, you're fighting yeah. for. So uh, you're here preaching to people to love their bodies, be comfortable in their bodies. But medical research tells us that uh, a certain amount of weight uh, ratio mm -hmm. to your height, maybe a certain amount of body type can cause hypertension, can cause uh, all sorts of diseases. How do you tell someone to be comfortable in their own bodies when you know for a fact this is a health hazard? I remember there's a quote, something that Tyra Banks once said, that all women are beautiful, but like at the same time you should be like healthily beautiful, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. it was, I'm just like paraphrasing, it wasn't, mm -hmm. it was like something along those lines. Also, there's something called body mass index, yeah. like your weight and your height should uh -huh. like... The ratio. Yeah, the yeah. ratio. Uh -huh. We're saying love yourself. Actually, loving yourself means it's, it's not just about self-love and mm. preaching, you know, like I love myself. It's also about like eating healthy and mm. like doing stuff that benefits you. It's not just about like your, 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 your physical, it's also mm. about your mental well-being. Mm -hmm. get, get what I mean? I feel like people tend to misinterpret self-love because mm -hmm. i mean on social media like you know if you post stuff like you know hashtag what slay. <laughs> hashtag slay queen <laughs> hashtag i love myself uh -huh. like i feel like now people just do these things for likes uh -huh. but like deep down you know like it's unhealthy and you're actually like destroying yourself so, you need so to in as, yeah in as much as like it's good to love you but i mean generally there are people like who are like naturally big the mm. people are naturally tiny like mm. me so in as much as i try to eat like fertilizer mm. i won't grow <laughs> right. i will not grow uh -huh. but uh, they're like instant like it doesn't mean i should stop eating healthily because i'm like get what i mean because uh, you can't get yes pain. it doesn't mean doesn't i should mean just like take the chance yeah and i'm just like you know what i don't care anymore chicken. all right self-love just it goes beyond so the reverse is also true when you big enough it doesn't mean you give up then, you yeah. continue living exactly healthy. oh yeah so like right. i'm just saying in as much as like you have to embrace yourself mm -hmm. i mean if it's your natural body and you can't do anything about it it's fine it's fine right. but like you as a person you know that this is not me you know this is not my body you mm -hmm. know like like this is hazardous to my health mm -hmm. 
So like you should try and take measures to actually like stay right. in check with your health instead of preaching self-love. How do self -love. you break this to somebody? Because, oh, all right, uh, for the guys at Toki, it's very easy for me to tell my boy, hey, bro, you're getting fat. <laughs> Seriously. But how do you tell a woman this is very dangerous for your health? I think it's okay, it's rude to just go to someone and say, hey, you're fat. Like, <laughs> yes, straight up. I remember I, I once tweeted, like, saying to someone, you've gained weight or lost weight is not a greeting. No, there are those <laughs> people who just say, hey, you've gained weight. <laughs> Especially our mom. It's not a greeting. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's not a greeting. I feel like if you're a true friend, and like, it also depends on your relationship with the person. If you're like close friends, I'm pretty sure you can like break it down to them and say, listen, friend. And also don't say it in front of people like in a dramatic way. Let's say, listen, I don't think what you're doing is healthy. Mm -hmm. And you can even like, like support them even more. Like, you know, let's go on a diet together or like, mm -hmm. let's hit the gym right. together. All right. All right. Get it. But support. just don't like hammer Side someone, down. like mm -hmm. attack them because... I mean, women Being are so, yeah, really. women are so, yeah. like, particular, like, we're so concerned about the way we look and everything. Mm -hmm. So if someone, especially someone who's your friend, supposed to be your friend, comes to you and just tells you, like, hey, you're gaining weight, like, mm -hmm. you just don't feel good about, like, <laughs> I mean. so find a diplomatic way <laughs> Yeah, to just it. find, Wonderful. like, good way to say What's it. your vision with uh, Royal Footprints? I mean, I want to start branches everywhere in the world uh, so we have the kenyan <laughs> branch now yeah we kenyan branch is launching whether zim one uh -huh. a kenyan one also like since i started in high school uh there's like most of the members went to universities all over the world mm -hmm. so i have people in south africa people in australia canada mm -hmm. so uh, actually working on it for them to actually like start mm -hmm. like branches there mm -hmm. like I feel like also like we're starting mostly universities because I mean university students go through a lot. I mean mm -hmm. it's not just like the academic pressure, it's also mm -hmm. about looks, you know, mm -hmm. trying to like stay up and everything. Financial pressure. Yeah, as well. financial, exactly, financial mm -hmm. pressure. So like different universities, but like at the end, I just mm -hmm. want to see it like successful all over the world, just like trying to spread positive vibes, mm -hmm. making people feel good about Are we going themselves. to see a magazine sometime soon? A magazine? For what? <laughs> For our footprints. I mean, I write too. Uh, I, I could do yes, that. I could. I mean. Because so, you already have a blog. You have images on, on Instagram. Uh, when you bring the two together. We could actually have a, a Royal Footprints magazine. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, wonderful. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so now I, I'd like to focus um, on your career now a little bit. Uh, since it's strength of a woman. Mm -hmm. After you studied law in Kenya, uh, can you practice in Zimbabwe? <laughs> Is it possible? You have to go through some different... Um, I feel... Okay, if I get admitted into the Kenyan bar, I don't uh -huh. think... I would have to apply for one in Zim, uh -huh. apparently. Mm -hmm. But my goal is to, I think Kenya is, God has spoken. Right. <laughs> I think Kenya is my place, I mean. <laughs> God has spoken. I just, Welcome to Kenya. I just feel like it's uh, my place. I mean, Welcome I'll, to Kenya. I'm here uh, to stay. <laughs> you're I'm here, here to, to stay. I'm here to is stay. Is she welcome? <laughs> Uh, boy, <laughs> I'm here to stay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the, the guys have spoken. I think you're I'm welcome. here to stay. All right, uh, so uh, uh, we've talked about raw footprints. We've talked about your career. Uh, one thing is left. You know this thing? No. <laughs> <Huh>? No. <laughs> this is that part where we address the trending topics mm, that okay. are around. And uh, one, since it's, it's neighboring to your country. I like to talk about Dr. Likau. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, Dr. Likau. Uh -huh. uh, what is your take on this particular situation? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't, I just feel like he's fake. Like, <laughs> frankly speaking, mm -hmm. I watched the whole video of the guy resurrecting. Mm -hmm. It just looked like a play, to be honest. It just looked like too dramatic to be true. Mm -hmm. He was just like too shocked. I don't. I can't even put it into right. words. Yes, now that it's you just admit like, that it's a fake thing, uh, uh -huh. uh, how do you think the public at large can approach uh, this kind of aspect? Because religion is very sensitive. You can't tell somebody, uh, no, that pastor is fake when they already believe in something. True. So how do you think people can uh, approach this as somebody who is, uh, who's gone to college level, somebody with an open mind, somebody who views life uh, very in a very uh, broad spectrum? I really think everyone has is entitled to their own opinion, mm -hmm. and what people if that have rights. What affects uh, people like that? People are being frauded. 
Honestly. I mean, like, okay, the thing I've most noticed about most of these people who follow, like, the likes of Lukao and Bushiri, mm -hmm. like, it's like they're already inside like you can't change their minds literally mm -hmm. those people go into twitter and they fight people mm -hmm. like you see tw like twitter wars they literally fight for their and defend their pastors mm -hmm. so i feel like people like that you just have to like if they can't listen because them is actually them who don't like were like so rigid they're mm -hmm. not like willing to listen to what other people have to say mm -hmm. so with people like that you just have to leave them and pray to god to open their eyes pray. just pray because <laughs> right. if someone is already like right. focused and they've already told themselves like thank you very that much is my for sharing your video. <laughs> the last the last time of the day so i see in hollywood uh they keep fight they they've, they've fought for rights mm -hmm. of the minorities uh, a movie cannot be a movie without a black person oh, in yeah, it. A movie cannot be a movie without uh, mm. uh, somebody from the LGBT community. A movie cannot be a movie without the, the, the marginalized guys, the Mexican. The, is it something that you're going to do in future to make sure, like a media house or uh, an employment place, they, they, they cover all types of body types and people of different skin color and diversities? Definitely. I uh, mean... I think like is it which magazine is it they usually have like top 50 most beautiful women mm -hmm. i don't think to be honest in my opinion i think that's not necessary that's what i told my it is not necessary at all Idris Elba yes because huh? it's like you're <laughs> saying if you don't look like Idris Elba, you're ugly. Like yeah. basically, that's what they're you saying. You can't say that, right? <laughs> you can't say. That's it. what I say. So right like, I, I, I don't think uh, it's necessary to like have awards and everything. Like, first of all, who are you to say she's this beautiful is the and most I'm beautiful? Person. Yeah, who are you? We <laughs> end on that note. Thank you very much for coming, Kosi. We appreciate you. Your social media handles. So how, uh, and tell them how they can get uh, the links to your blogs and read. Okay, mm. Instagram. Everything is on my Instagram. Uh -huh. Nkosi Fleur, N-K-O-S-I-E underscore F-L-E-U-R. Yeah, that's my Instagram. It has my link, links to Royal Footprints, links to my blog. Yeah. Thank you very much, Nkosi, for coming through. We appreciate you. We have come to the end of Strength of a Woman. If you're a woman out there or if you know one who fits this particular seat right here, doing something amazing for the community. Uh, entrepreneurship, ni Tuesday. Wale wana tekeneza pesa, ni Tuesday. But those who are impacting the community positively, this is their spot. Uh, text us on Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. Hashtag is Y in the morning. Hashtag is Queen's Wednesday. Hashtag is Strength of a Woman. So we can highlight the story. So what's coming up next is a special song. This song is special to me because it speaks to me directly. Blinky Bill, Mungu Halali. Enjoy it. As we we wait for gas talk, a hot topic, don't touch that down.